Hello, my name is Justin Stevens. And I'm Isabella Askar. And contrary to popular belief, I am actually white. Contrary to popular belief, I am actually not white. Come on, Isabella. I'm actually not white. No, come on. Like, where are you from then? I'm Chaldean. You're Calzonian? You're a pizza now? <laughs> sure, let's go with that. And, and this, this is, is the, the news. news. Kellyanne Conway was ridiculed last week for kneeling without shoes on an Oval Office sofa. Really? Is this actually worse than the time Bill and Monica went all Fifty Shades of Oval Office? After a protest in Memphis, police claimed they had authorization from the president of McDonald's to arrest protesting fast food workers. Many are calling this ridiculous and a misappropriation of police resources considering the Hamburglar is still at large. Melania Trump claims that the gift of nature can heal sick children. This gift is also apparently responsible for turning her husband orange. A man is suing Papa John's for allegedly sending him too many texts about discount pizza. Oh, uh, a new report just came in. A man is suing every college student in the U.S. for trying to steal his phone number. The Washington Post no, now has a new slogan, Democracy Dies in Darkness. It seems that our only tenuous hope against anarchy is a Care Bear nightlight. Now let's send it over to our foreign correspondent, Mary. Thanks, Isabella. Tonight's story comes live from Norfolk in Virginia. Jurors, I can't even say that word right. Jurors, 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 found a man of male gender, yeah, that's right, male genitalia, genitalia, named Alan, of trying to steal $33 in sharp cheddar. First milk, now cheddar. What are you trying to say about my body? But looks like he woke up late, and we've all been there, you know, and ended up not showing up. So you know what they hit them with? They hit them with that five, five, five year prison term. That's right, that cheddar gonna burn five, five, five year prison burn. Back to you, Justina. Thanks, Mary. A new dating app called FaceDate matches you with someone based on how attractive you find their face. Finally, begone the days of checking out a pretty lady only to realize days later, oh, I forgot to look at her face. WikiLeaks has published CIA documents, some of which explain how the agency uses tools to break into electronic devices. One of the CIA's hacking programs is called Weeping Angel. I'm not sure what's more frightening, to think the government tapping your phone is this new big discovery, or that one of their methods of doing so has the scariest name ever. A law in Michigan states that police are allowed to have sex with prostitutes during open investigations and receive full immunity. Let's just hope for the officer's sake he didn't blow his cover. On Saturday, 40 people were caught illegally crossing into Canada from the Minnesota-North Dakota border area. It's likely that now Canada will build a wall and ask Donald Trump to pay for it. Happy Popcorn Lover's Day to all the snack food enthusiasts out there. Celebrate by microwaving a nice bowl of dried corn and then flossing for the first time since April because you got a damn kernel stuck underneath your molar. All right, and uh, that's all the I time we have. Five, five, five year prison term. That's right, I love cheddar. And this is the news.